hi welcome back to another video tutorial from just revit and in this tutorial we'll be discussing flaws in revit different tips and tricks about flaw in revit so kindly follow me through and if you have not subscribed to this channel i'll suggest that you do i make videos consistently and it will be of great benefit for you and also you can check the previous videos i've made so you can be up to date so without further ado let's get into today's video the floor can be found under the architecture tab in revit and when you click the floor you can either draw it with lines or you can draw it with the rectangle shape or circle as a case may be but for this video i'm going to delete this now and we want to discuss how we can make a ramp within a floor in revit and also how to properly do a curb to a walkway in revit so in this video i want to draw floor it's in the rectangle so say this is my floor for example and okay this is a walkway we are working this way but i want to put a ramp in the middle for the disabled access and whatsoever how do i do that i select the floor and i click on add split line and draw you can click the chain command to have a continuous line we have something like this so this is where my ramp is going to be but i want to add a point so close to this okay then also me close like that so I go sorry go to 3d view so this is going to be the walkway walkway but this should be the ramp so I need to push this surface down select the floor click on modify sub elements I select this line and drag it down to the base of the floor and release it but i get this warning and how do i correct it this is not how the ramp is meant to be so i hit escape select the floor go to edit type and click on edit and i click on variable so i can have a variable thickness on my floor and i click ok so for this we have our ramp neatly done and that is how you can model your ramp within a floor in revit i hope you left something new and also if you want to add a curb to this walkway for example say we have this curved edge here yeah. okay okay so how do i add the curve to it normally most people come here edit in place and you sweep start picking lines drawing profile but i think that's a less stressful way we have this feature called slab edge in revit under the floor click on the drop down click on slab edge and come to edit type you 
have a profile there and a material but i have this profile opened so i want to load it into my project and come back to floor floor slab edge then i pick so basically i just pick the edges of my floor and i have my curbs all done that's that was quite quick without any stress then one last thing in the case where we want to model a ramp using floor in revit it's quite simple and i'll show you how to do that in the mid so stay with me come to architecture draw floor okay i want to undo something i did before okay let's duplicate let's say floor for ramp then edit thickness to 150 untick this then click ok ok so see this is floor yeah okay how to create multiple levels go to level parameters Okay, I think we are good to go on that. So I want to copy this floor to other levels from level two to old shift and select all. So we want to have a ramp that connects on both sides here. How do we do that? So we go to architecture floor then we have a curved okay you can start with a circle then have another circle then i'm going to use this line so i'm going to split the surface with the split to split element sl that's the shortcut then trim and extend cr on your keyboard and this is a nice ram but go to 3d view you see it's just on this floor but i need this part to start from level one but this to be on level two what do i do i go to modify sub elements i go to the floor plan view then select this elevation here i impute the uh, level difference enter and then i go and check my c that we're good to go and then i can copy this to all other levels so this is how to create the ramp on a ramp in revit you move this way this way this way this way and that's quite easy i think that is all you need to know for now on revit if there's any other thing i'll make another video thank you very much for watching please kindly like this video and subscribe if you've left something new and be nice to drop a comment if you have any suggestion to make thank you